Jennifer. Yes. You're still homeless in Toronto. I am. That's horrible. This time it's not winter time though. It's summertime almost. Yeah. Almost. You stay out here in the winter time too? I do, yes. That's probably a dumb question because when, uh, it is a dumb question because when I first met you, it was winter. Yeah. So why are you still out here? Well, you know, uh, I'm trying to find a place. You know, I, I look for places. It's a little hard to find something wheelchair accessible right. or wheelchair friendly, whichever way you want to put it. And uh, I've just, I've had trouble with organizations just kind of dropping the ball 10 hundred times in a row, which definitely doesn't help. But I'm still hopeful. I'm, it's gonna work one day. I'm gonna find that place and then everything will be better. Right. Let's, being hopeful, you have the best sign I have seen. Let's see your sign. <laughs> My uh, wonderful sign. Trying to make sense of it all. So, yes. how do you make sense of homelessness? Um, you kind of don't, because yeah. it doesn't make any sense. Um, I find it interesting that we live in a first world country, but there are still children who are hungry. There's still homeless people like me. There's still ignorance. There's still a lot of these issues. But oddly enough, in a first world country, you can't build yourself a home. In a third world country, you can build a shanty and no one will bother you. Here they come and tell you to take it down or they'll take it down for you, which kind of leaves you no real good options. I find it kind of odd. Well, I, every time I come to Toronto, I see you out here. I am here. And I say, come on, Canada. We got to do something. In yeah. three years, and you've probably been out here longer than that. Oh, yes. You can't get a wonderful woman such as yourself disabled off the streets. No. It's actually surprising how many um, disabled and, the, and I don't mean just physically, but also mentally disabled, and um, elderly people there are actually homeless on the street. It seems like we kind of get, you know, led along for a while and eventually that wears off. Then we sort of just get, you know, like I said, where people just drop the ball and they don't say anything and there's no follow-up. So you don't even know that they've dropped the ball until you're going, but I thought you were my worker. And they're going, but no, no, your file's closed. So... And you're saying the service providers come around and wake you up now and then, but they don't help you get in, in the house. Exactly. They'll come and wake you up in the park and tell you you have to get up and you can't be there but uh, they don't seem too eager to you know follow up with you on things they don't uh, offer any real kind of assistance just hey are you okay okay well good now that I know you're okay well you got to move and that's you know um, it's sad really to now I know you said pan and flying a sign you only made two bucks yesterday well yesterday I didn't have a sign of ingeniousness <laughs> but uh, no yesterday was tough yeah I only made two dollars in about two hours and I gave up how 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 are you surviving um you know I kind of wonder that myself like a lot actually because uh, I don't see a lot of outreach anymore unless it's um, more privately done like through separate churches or small uh, youth groups and things but again like it's not winter time now so you don't get as much of that there's not a lot of outreach there's not a lot of all well, services really in general and you have to travel for drop-in some of which just challenging you know, for you you might or might not be able to get into if you're me because again, not all of them are accessible. But, uh, you know, I just, it's the goodness of people. It's the only reason I'm here, you know? I may not have made much money, but, you know, near the end of the day, there was someone who asked, you know, oh, would, 
are you hungry? And to me, that's like music to my ears when I haven't eaten on, yeah. like all day. So, you know, pretty much that's how I get by, right? Is on the goodness of people. Which luckily, there are some good people left. I'm very glad for that because I probably wouldn't be here if there wasn't. <laughs> if you had three wishes, what would they be? Oh my. Um, well, to have, you know, something that's mine. It doesn't have to be fancy or extravagant, but you know, a little space to call my own and my own little things in it would be nice. Um, I don't know, other than that, I guess, uh, I really wish that people would be a little less um, quick to judge. I know there's a lot of people that do a lot of things that are maybe not considered good things, but I think sometimes people forget that that doesn't define the person. You can do bad things and be an all right person. So I think, you know, it'd be nice if people could recognize a little more of that in each other. Not just in the homeless community, but just in general. And other than that, I, I don't know, I might have to be cliche and say, you know, world peace. And, and you know, things like that. But, yeah, definitely. Well, thank you very much for talking. Well, thank you for coming by again. It was good to see that you're still around doing your thing for all of us because we need it. We don't have a big voice. Yeah, but we got to get you, you off. Know. I don't want to see you again here. I know, I know. So. I don't want to see me again here either, but you know what? I want to slap your brain At least out. I'm still alive. The weather is nice. Um, I did get totally soaked in the rain yesterday, but wow. that was yesterday. Now it's sunny and warm, everything is drying off. No complaints, right? That's the key, no complaints.